Hi everyone. So a week or so ago, I posted uh, on my Instagram, Team Il Samani I, um, and on a couple of Facebook pages about these little Il Samani I babies. I can't. I keep um, losing leaves on them. I've had one before that I sold. It was about the same age. They had trouble keeping the leaves. Ended up giving it back and it ended up dying. So these, I'm really trying to make sure they don't die. Um, at the moment, it's still got all its leaves, but you can see there's a few dried up little ones there that they are leaves that have come off. Uh, it's not the oldest leaves that it happens to, it's the ones in the middle, and it still puts out new leaves as you can see there. This one too. This is an old leaf and that's normal as expected. I'm gonna have to cut that one off. But yeah, you can see there's the, the leaves in the middle I've lost and still putting out the newer leaves. But yeah, they're very white. This shouldn't stop the Ilsamanii because they have a different type of variegation that still allows the white to uh, photosynthesize. So that makes them different from the Monstera albo, for example. Uh, so I'm someone suggested that the medium I have it in may be too chunky. Um, so I thought, I thought this was quite small, but it's probably not small enough. Um, I thought, yeah, I think that's right. I think the medium's too chunky the plant's not able to get the nutrients it requires and it can't sustain the leaves that it's producing. So I thought today I'm going to unpot them, look at the roots, make sure they're all okay and then repot them in some finer medium. So I have bought just yesterday or a couple of days ago from eBay arrived <clears throat> some three to six millimeter orchid bark. So let's see what I've got here. It's very fine. So I'm hoping that this will work. I'm going to make up a soil mix with it and we're gonna give it a go. Um, I also haven't been fertilizing them probably as effectively as I could have been. Uh, I don't have some I didn't have any fertilizer that's aimed at seedlings. I have the Growth Technology Foliage Focus. And at first I thought maybe it was being over fertilized because I was using that. And so I stopped fertilizing them and then still doing it. So I finally found, because I had it before and I haven't been able to restock, the CCS Clonex Clone Solution from GT Technology. So I found this on eBay from the same seller as the Orchid Bark. Um, so I was pretty happy with that. And I'm hoping that I can make up a fertilizer for it and that is also going to help. So I'm actually going to do this one first, mainly because this one's mine. This one is my in-laws who owned the original Ilsamanii that I have all my plants from. Um, they wanted me to salvage it because once again, it just wasn't working. So we're hoping this works. So I'm going to take these out of the pot now. Let's have a look. Support them as I tip. I can see the roots, they just seem a little bit dry. There's no rotting, which is good. The stem cut itself is still intact and the roots that are coming from the plant are actually coming from the new growth rather than the old one. But yeah, they just seem a bit dry. So even though I water them pretty regularly, just not getting in I don't think 
And yeah, I think that is probably due to the medium being too chunky. So I'm going to put this one aside. I'm going to do the next one. Uh, very similar situation, however, this one doesn't have many roots coming from the actual plant. This one's coming from the old stem cut. So I think I'm going to have to make sure that the newer plant is buried in, probably up to the, maybe get rid of that first leaf and plant it in a bit to make sure that we've got some node areas where the roots come out of underneath to um, give them contact with the soil. So thank goodness that they're not rotted. I think that was the biggest thing, that they were rotted roots, but they're not. So I'm, I'm happy about that. Okay, so now I'm ready to put together a new mix. Of course, I'm going to have the orchid bark that I mentioned before. Uh, in it, I'm also going to add, this is a mix of, I've uh, got a little bit of spag moss that I've shredded up as much as I can. And then little bits of chunky core mulch that I'm going to add. So I'm just going to throw all that in. To that I'm going to add some horticultural charcoal. I kind of sifted through to find some bits that weren't too chunky. Um, I don't need a lot of it, just aerate, helps aerate the soil. So in that goes. Something else I love to use is vermiculite. Um, <laughs> these little bits of I don't know, they remind me of porridge or something, muesli. <laughs> um, but I find it, they absorb moisture really well, um, but, and, but they, can, uh, they continue to keep the soil aerated. I've, I've actually, what's the word, propagated things inside vermiculite. I think these were actually propagated in vermiculite. Um, so I find it works well. I like to add it to all my soil mixes just to help with aeration, but to also retain a bit of moisture. I'm not going to add all this. I'm just going to put a little bit in. And then of course, perlite. Same as vermiculite, retain, um, aerates, the, aerates the soil, but also seems to hold water a little bit on the surface. I don't like it as much as vermiculite, but I use it as well. Just gonna add a little bit in there too. As you can see. Now to that, I'm gonna add the, um, the orchid bark. I don't have a particular ratio that I follow. I just like to see how it looks. My, all my philodendrons, all my monstera, all my anthurium are grown in this mix. I do not add peat moss. I do not add any soil. Um, actually, I was told once to add peat moss, so I did to this plant here. Put her on a pole, added the pink moss to my orchid mix, and then proceeded to almost kill her. <laughs> so from then on, I do not add pink moss at all. Some people do, and that's fine. It's just, this is my preference. This is actually a base cut and a tip cut that I've put together. Um, it was back in 2020 that I almost killed her. Um, so since then, she has done particularly well. Took, took me a while to rehab, but she's there. And growing very happily on her pole. 
So I'm so pleased. All right, I'm gonna mix this up. Let's do this one. Did I? Now I think I'm going to bury it up to here. Sorry. I'm going to pop the other one up back on, um, I'll pop the other one up off camera so you don't have to sit through that again. So I always use this milk container for my watering. Holds two litres. It's only got a litre in for now because the instructions on the Planet's Clone Solution say five mil per litre to start. Okay, okay, okay. We've got the five mil line there. So, let's awkwardly pour that. And into there. Just going to give it a shake. Here we go. Pouring that in, I can already see that the water's not running through quite as fast as it normally does in the other mix. This is how I water all of them. I usually tip the water through a couple of times. I don't usually let them sit in the water. When the pot feels light, I give it another water. So that'll probably be about a week. If you want to see how this baby goes, whether we have an improvement, I will do another follow-up video showing her progress. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe and we'll catch you then. Mm -hmm.